This journalist hang out on Sunday reaching you live from our Abuja studio here and I have Babajide Koladi Otitoju and Femi Akonde still in the studio. Gentlemen, now, the long arm of the law is capable of catching anyone found wanting regardless of position or status. The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLA, affirms this principle by arresting and arraigning a senior immigration officer, Michael Akumalafe, serving at the Motala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, before a federal high court in Lagos. The immigration officer was arraigned alongside three others for alleged trafficking in eight kilograms of methamphetamine and 7.6 kilograms of cannabis sativa, also known as marijuana. Just like the American statement Theodore Roosevelt put it, no one is above the law and no one is below it. Jiri, this is... <laughs> this is really perplexing. Because <laughs> this is perplexing. And you know, every 12 potentially has a Judas. Mm. It's such a shame that General Buba Marwa is doing such a fantastic job at NDLA. Mm. Yet, yet, we still have people within NDLA unmotivated, undaunted, and unprepared to help him to achieve his mandate. Their own is to see how they can make money using their position in NDLA. So if an NDLA official... No, Jude, I think this is an, a senior immigration officer. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Okay. I said, Marwa, General Marwa, is doing so much. Yeah. Yet within the group, mm. within NDLA, there are people who are not motivated, who are not uh, prepared to join him in achieving his mandate. Mm. That's the program, that's the point that I'm making. Mm. But if, why should, I mean, many people, people can be involved in drug trafficking, but why should it be NDLA officials? That is what makes this story perplexing. Why should it be NDLA officials? Despite the role that Marwa has been playing, mm. if someone told you that within his own ranks, within the ranks of NDLA that he works for, where he has been such an exemplary leader, a senior official and three others who actually be involved in trafficking drugs, would you believe it? Ironical. That's the most unlikely place where you want to imagine that such a thing will happen. Mm. And that's to tell you that in our country, there are bad eggs all over the place. Mm -hmm. Every profession has got them. What we should continue to do is to depopulate our agencies mm -hmm. of people like this so that they do not infect others mm -hmm. with their horrible behavior. I, I, I pray that the long arm of the law, having now caught him, mm. justice will not take so long to be served. Because when justice takes so long to be served, people tend to even forget that such a thing happened. So, but if we serve justice quickly, mm. we will be sending the right message to other people like, like these persons, that look, if you do it, you will not be spared. So, Jeremarwa should continue to look at some of the people look within his own agency for these bad days because they will continue to sabotage the, his success if he does not get them out of the system. All right. We quickly take this breather. When we come back, we'll talk more. Please stay with us. So, Femi, it's like a cartel within, you know, the... Um, security agencies yeah. these drug people they have the people they reach out to yeah. even within the NDLA, yeah. within the immigration even you know all the we have their people if they so, want to so let, let me just correct uh, the information that i just got now that mm. this person was actually not
mm. um, an NDA NDA official, official. Yes. Mm. Uh, but he's an immigration mm. officer. Mm. But it's bad enough. If yes. uniformed men yes. who are supposed to... You know, like at the airport now, they have yes. all these They people. work together. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. So if you are moving out, they, they will shoot you. Mm -hmm. For me. Yes, you know, it's sad to see that you know a senior officer like that will use his access and privilege, you know, to still contravene uh, um, laws and uh, set down rules. And it's also, uh, if you go to the airport and most of um, all of these exit points out of the country, you see that sometimes with just a little token, they would allow you even get away with more that they can mm. just rather than allow you go through the normal checks, normal um, scrutiny and all of that. If you just can part away with uh, some little bunks, mm. you know, they would just um, give you a free uh, passage. And mm. this has also enabled crime. It has also enabled drug trafficking at the airports and all other mm. uh, exit airports in, in the country. So it's for the heads of these uh, security agencies to ensure that you know when people like these are caught thankfully the NDLA is prosecuting this case you know mm -hmm. to use this case as a as a deterrent mm -hmm. to others to ensure that mm -hmm. you know people are don't use their, yes mm -hmm. uh, actually don't use their influence and mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. an office to uh, perpetrate uh, this kind of thing and then spoil the good work the NDLA is actually doing to rid uh, the country mm -hmm. of these um, drug trafficking uh, menace Julie, as a matter of fact, I'm just thinking about this marijuana thing. Mm. Some, states in, uh, some states in America and some states in Canada, they've gone ahead to legalize it. Mm. So I'm not advocating that it should be legalized. Mm. But we are saying it is illegal in Nigeria, but the spread is alarming. The, uh, uh, the, the network they are making alarming. it look like it's even uh, a normal thing now. Ah, it's you, alarming. See, you see kids <laughs> smoking <laughs> Indian hemp in public. You know, but... Girls? Uh, yes, girls. 16-year-old girls, 15, you know. They will, they will advance to more dangerous uh, drugs. But um, Jeremiah and his team mm. are doing such a fantastic job. Mm. He's, he has shown that he's one of the best public officers in our country. Oh, you're sticking and, that uh, it, will, it, it is terrible that immigration, an immigration officer that is supposed to assist to the doing that job yeah. to succeed mm. is now uh, being arrested Arrain. and arraigned. Mm. For, for drug trafficking. It's, it's such a terrible thing. I, I, I feel really bad. And uh, uh, I take back the error that I made earlier uh, when referring to the person as an NDA. And it shows if you remember the Yabakari thing. Yes. You know, it's almost the same thing that anybody mm. can be taken down. Of so course. Security of person in NDA set the trap and. They set that trap and mm. uh, they succeeded. And um, it was uh, it, uh, his uh, desire to. to Prolonged the trial the other day, mm. uh, he lost. Mm. So his trial continues, and uh, hopefully justice will be served soon. The end of so, the day. Mm. Good, uh, well done to NDLA yeah. for their tenacity, for their um, effective um, handling of the job. All right, more drama and twists continue to unfold in.